Welcome back to Iron Hand Tech. The journey of an electrical wire doesn't end when it no longer serves its purpose. Within every old wire lies a valuable copper core, ready to be reborn for a new life cycle. Today, we'll explore how these seemingly useless wires are revived to become raw materials for countless new products. Every old electrical wire is like a carefully wrapped gift. On the outside is a thick protective plastic layer, and inside is the precious gift, copper. The first step in the recycling process is removing this outer layer, a task requiring precision, like peeling an apple without damaging the core. These old wires are fed into a shredding machine where sharp blades spinning at high speed crush them into small pieces. The next task is to separate the copper from the mixture. A pneumatic separator takes on this role by blowing air through the wire scraps in a chamber. The strong airflow blows the lighter plastic or rubber insulation away from the copper, which is heavier and falls to the bottom. But the process isn't over yet. To achieve pure copper, we need another step. The copper is passed through a magnetic separator, which captures metallic impurities while leaving the copper untouched. After this step, we have pure copper ready for the melting process. In the furnace, copper endures temperatures of up to 1200 degrees Celsius, a harsh environment that removes impurities and allows the copper to be reborn in its purest form. The copper melting process takes place in large industrial furnaces where the copper is liquefied. In this high temperature environment, lighter impurities float to the surface and are removed, ensuring that the final product reaches the required purity. The furnace is the heart of the metal recycling process. It uses gas or electricity to generate the high temperatures needed to melt the copper evenly. This process doesn't happen quickly, but it is sure copper needs time to shed its impurities and reach its purest state. After the copper has been refined and purified, the next step is casting. The molten copper is poured into heat-resistant molds where it quickly cools and hardens into copper ingots. The rolling process begins with hot rolling. Copper ingots are passed through hot rolling mills to thin them down and reduce their size. Hot rolling reduces the thickness of the copper without losing its mechanical properties. The rolling mill consists of two large steel rollers rotating in opposite directions. As the copper ingot is fed between these rollers under extreme pressure, it gradually thins out, much like flattening dough with a rolling pin. This process is called hot rolling because the copper is heated red hot during the process. After hot rolling, the copper is transferred to cold rolling. Cold rolling helps thin the copper sheets to precise thickness and improves the material's hardness. Cold rolling takes place at room temperature and shapes the copper into thinner sheets with exact thickness. This is the final step to prepare the copper for other applications. To turn the copper into wires, a wire drawing machine is used. The machine features a special die with multiple circular holes that gradually decrease in size. The copper ingot is pulled through these holes, similar to threading a string through a needle. With each pull, the copper's diameter shrinks until it reaches the desired size. The rolling and wire drawing process not only prepares the copper for industrial use, but also ensures that the final product is of high quality and precision. After being drawn into wires, the copper wire is dipped into a chemical solution to clean the surface, removing any oxides and impurities. The wire is then dried and finally coiled into spools of various sizes for ease of transportation and use. Recycled copper helps reduce the need for new mining, protecting mining areas and minimizing environmental degradation. According to statistics, the copper recycling process 
uses 85% less energy than producing copper from new ore. Once the recycling process is complete, copper is no longer raw material, but an essential component for various industries. Thanks to its excellent electrical conductivity, high durability, and malleability, recycled copper is used in numerous applications, from electrical wires and car parts to complex electronic products. If every copper particle could tell a story, it would narrate a thrilling adventure. From being buried deep in the earth to becoming an electrical wire, experiencing aging and being discarded. But the journey doesn't end there. Copper, like a warrior, never gives up, ready to return from waste to continue serving humanity. Like reforging an old sword to make it sharper and stronger. Recycling copper is not just about reuse. It's a transformation of seemingly useless things into brand new, stronger, shinier materials, ready for a new journey. Copper is one of the few metals that can be recycled indefinitely without losing quality. This makes copper the ageless friend in the world of resources, always ready to be reborn and serve new purposes. While other materials may degrade after several recycling cycles, copper retains all of its physical and chemical properties. This makes copper a valuable resource, not only for today, but for the future as well. No matter how many life cycles it goes through, copper always retains its strength and unlimited ability to serve. Recycling copper from old electrical wires is a clear demonstration of the power of technology and environmental awareness. Every recycled copper wire represents a long journey from waste to becoming a vital part of modern industries. But more importantly, it's a reflection of collective efforts to protect natural resources and reduce the negative impact on our planet. Every old wire you discard isn't just trash, it's an opportunity to regenerate a valuable resource. Let's recycle together for a more sustainable and brighter future. With copper, the life cycle never ends. It just starts anew, stronger, and more resilient. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss our next videos. For now, goodbye and see you next time.